Let's talk about wine storage. Today, we're gonna talk about four ways to store your wine at home the right way. And don't forget to smash the like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. These tips will keep your wines aging longer and keep it from potential harm. Just remember, wine is sensitive and needy and it needs your love. So let's get into the video. I can tell you how many times I've walked into someone's house and I saw a wine up there on the fridge, above the stove. I've even seen a wine rack that was right next to a fireplace. I freaking cringe. I guess you don't know what you don't know, but now you have no excuse because you're about to become a wine storage pro. Which brings me to tip number one. Keep your wines below room temp. You may have been told in the past to keep your wine bottles at room temperature, but what the frick is room temperature anyways? It all started a long ass time ago in Europe where people lived in big stone castles where it was cold and room temp was like 55 degrees, which is the ideal cellar temperature to store your wine. And they were like, let's tell everyone to store their wine at room temperature. But this is 2020, room temp is no longer 55 degrees. It's like 75 degrees. Wine needs to be under 70 degrees. Otherwise it'll cook inside and it'll taste foul or it'll taste old, not the good kind of old. And we don't want our wines to taste like that. This means we have to take extra measures to make sure our vino is nice and cool when it sleeps. So now that you know to store your wines below room temperature, let's get into tip number two. Keep your wines above 45 degrees, so no refrigerators. This is for those of you who are aging wine mostly. If your wine is gonna be in the refrigerator for longer than a couple months, I would say age it somewhere else. Fridges will pull that moisture out of the cork. It'll crack, it'll disintegrate. Oxygen will get into the wine bottle and it'll become oxidized. And then it'll taste like vinegar and no one wants it to smell like vinegar. Unless you're making balsamic vinaigrette, then you'll need a couple more ingredients. Just kidding, I don't know how to make that. Also, when you serve wine, you don't wanna serve it too cold. And if you're gonna store your wine in a fridge, it's probably gonna be too cold to serve. It'll take away from the aroma, it'll take away from the taste, and that's not good. Unless it's a really bad wine. In that case, put it in the freezer and power through it. Tip number three, wines hate the light. Yes, light. Remember, wine is sensitive and needy and it needs your love, but they're also vampires. So keep them in the dark. Light bulbs are like UV rays to wine and UV rays are like UV rays to wine. It's bad for the wine and it's bad for your skin. That's what my wife says anyways. In fact, the reason why most wine bottles are tinted brown or green is trying to protect the wine that's inside from the light that's outside. Then you have rosés and white wines. But these are meant to be drunk young, which a clear bottle is really meant for marketing. But don't be that person that stores their wine above the fridge, above the stove, next to a fireplace, in a window. Just get it out of the light. Wines are freaking vampires, man. Tip number four. If you're aging this bottle, you're gonna wanna put the bottle on its side. Lay it down like it's going to bed. The cork is a most important line of defense to keep your wine alive and fresh. If you're going to age your wine for five plus years, you're gonna to wanna to keep the wine on its side. That way, the cork is always in contact with the wine inside the bottle. Why? Same reason why you don't wanna put the wine in the fridge. The cork will dry out, it'll crack over time, and it'll disintegrate, and then it'll oxidize your wine and make it taste like vinegar. And again, nobody wants vinegar. So keep those bottles laying down so the cork has some moisture. So keep your wines below room temp, above 45 degrees, out of the light because they're freaking vampires, and laying on its side like it's taking a little wine nap. Basically act like you're storing bats or vampires in your house then you'll be good to go. So right now you might be asking yourself, I've been storing my wines all wrong, Ian. What do I do now? Two options. Number one is the cheapest option, which is store your wines in a dark, cool closet in the corner somewhere. That's free. If you're like me and you live upstairs somewhere and you don't have a really cool place in your house, you can do what I did and I bought a wine fridge used on Facebook Marketplace. Mine was like $75. I've seen a ton of them on Facebook Marketplace place for under a hundred dollars. Also check out my favorite wine products in the description below. And what did you guys think of these four tips? Was it useful to you? Did it add value? If you found this video helpful, comment below, smash that like button. In my next video, 
I'll be going over wines under $25 that are high quality. Connect with me on Instagram at Bottled Up Wine. Remember to drink wine, drink wide, don't be a snob, and I'll see you guys in the next video.